the primary mathematics planning framework we felt was needed because the national curriculum has been written uh, with content uh, divided between different domains. But what that does is it splits up ideas that need to be connected when teachers are, are teaching and working with children on the mathematics. So we felt that to support teachers into bringing together those ideas, they needed something which made sure that all the ideas were included and made those connections and built in progression. So we've taken the uh, content of the curriculum from each year group. We've sorted it into uh, 14 sequences which happen within each year group and they are split between four themes and those four themes are number sense, additive reasoning, multiplicative reasoning and geometric reasoning and those are four big ideas, mathematical ideas and all the domains that are in the national curriculum are fitted in and brought together under those four headings. So under something like number sense, you will have things that come from number and place value, but you'll also have elements of fractions and decimals because ordering decimals and comparing decimals is part of understanding number and place value. You'll also have measures because you compare measures, which is comparing numbers. So we've brought together those ideas that are actually connected ideas that for the convenience of the curriculum have been set out in different areas and to help guide teachers through making those connections with children and bringing children's learning together. The planning framework, the four themes, number sense, additive reasoning, multiplicative reasoning and geometric reasoning occur at least three times in each year group and we've aligned the year groups. So key stage one, the years are aligned and key stage two, the year groups are aligned. So people with mixed age classes, number sense happens first and the sequence is the same, so you can work across those. And the, there are posters that help you to see that alignment and, and look across the year groups. So for each teaching sequence, we looked at the uh, content of the national curriculum, we looked at how the different bits of the domains fitted together, and we brought those together. So each teaching sequence has, has objectives from different domains that fit together. And they all sit together under an overarching success criteria that we've written. And that gives clear guidance as to the intention of that teaching sequence, what it is you are aiming to achieve throughout that teaching sequence. And alongside the success criteria, there's a an example of an I can statement, which is a, a probing question, could be used as an assessment question at the end of a teaching sequence to find out whether children have understood the mathematics that that teaching sequence is really about. And it exemplifies the success criteria and gives teachers a real sense of the learning they should expect to have taken place and how children should be able to use that learning as a result of the teaching sequence. This resource could be used by any teacher to help them find their way through the national curriculum, to support them with progression and make sure that they cover everything, but it allows them flexibility, they need to make decisions, find their own pathway for their children and on the disc that you get with it you can adjust the plans to meet the needs of your children, so it would work for anyone. Mm -hmm.